Welcome to Google Analytics for Clubs. This is the first video in a series that will walk you through how to access your website stats and use them to your advantage. Google Analytics is an enterprise level web stats program. Essentially, it tracks a number of factors such as which pages are most popular, which cities users are located in, how they discovered your site, and what kinds of devices they're using. From this data, you can better determine how successful an advertising or PR campaign is going, what kinds of content your members are interested in, and is your site ready to grow through targeted investments such as with a mobile website or doing multiple languages. Google Analytics is big and deep and has a lot of numbers, but it's not as scary as you might think. Once you understand a few basics, it can actually be kind of fun, in a nerdy stalker kind of way. In fact, the hardest part of understanding analytics is Google's account structure, which isn't even really analytics, so let's get that out of the way first. To use Google Analytics, you will need a Google account. A Google account is like a key that gives you access to the entire kingdom of Google. Access to all of Google services is through your Google account. If you've ever had to log in to use a Google service before, then you already have an account. This includes Gmail, of course, but also YouTube, Picasso Web Albums, Blogger, Google Wallet, Google Overlord, and on and on and on. If you don't have a Google account, or if you need to create a new one for the club, go to www.google.com slash account slash new account. We strongly recommend creating a Google account just for the club to act as the primary account rather than using a personal account. This way, if the employee retires or leaves to pursue global domination, you won't lose access to all your Google data. Although analytics can be shared with employees through their personal Google accounts, your primary account should be separate as it will likely house other Google products that can't be easily replaced or recovered. Once a new Google account is created, simply call Members First Support to have them grant analytics access to your new Google account. You can actually track the stats of multiple websites under a single analytics account. However, in all likelihood, you'll only have one site in your analytics account. Each website has at least one profile. A profile is just a collection of reports defined by a set of rules. By default, your account is already set up with a standard profile that contains all the website reports you could ask for. You can share your analytics account with other Google accounts. This means your personal Google account, the Google account of your PR agency, and Members First can all be granted permission to your analytics account. Granting others access to analytics only lets them access analytics. They won't be able to access your other Google account services. Members First helps hundreds of clubs manage their analytics accounts, providing basic technical support, webinars, and private consulting. But we do not share any identifiable data. In other words, if you want to know how many people are visiting the site for the club on the other side of town, you're out of luck. One final important note about Google account structure. If all of this has you feeling like this, then relax. As long as Members First is an authorized admin of your analytics account, you can always just give our support team a call. We can add new users, remove past employees, assist with logging in, and ensure the tracking software is working correctly. If you prefer to let us manage your account, then you only need to know the fun stuff. So let's get right into it. To log in, go to google.com slash analytics. When you get there, you'll likely see a page with a blue button that says access analytics. Click that and if you aren't already logged into a Google account, you'll be taken to a page with a login area. Enter your account credentials there and log in. If you're watching this in early 2012, you might see a screen that looks like this. This is the old version of Google Analytics, and at the time of this recording, most users had already been transitioned to the newer version. If this is the screen you see upon logging in, simply click the New Version link at the top of the page. If the new version is your default, then you will be taken to the Analytics account home screen. The main area lists all the Analytics accounts accessible from this Google account. You probably just have one, the one for your club website. If my account had multiple websites, this is where they would be listed. Nested under the analytics account number and associated web address are that analytics profiles. You probably just have the one default profile. Again, a profile is just a collection of reports based on certain rules, and this default profile already contains all of the reports and standard rules analytics offers. So just click on the default profile to dive right in. That's it for part one in this series. In subsequent videos, we'll cover the interface, popular reports, and interpreting data. 
We hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching and thanks for being a client of Members First.